mud minnows, little hook. Dang, he was about to ship up my stuff. for a while finally got this little lady fish sometimes i keep them sometimes i don't don't keep them to eat them i keep them use them as cut bait for red fish and stuff like that blues um today i don't feel like keeping them so i'm gonna throw them back so i got these mud minnows and i'm tossing them out right where i can see the current at fish like the hanging current ambush prey also got shrimp in there but it's early so i want to try to use the mud minnows because they cost a lot so fuck that and I'll use shrimp later on if the mud minnows aren't hit. But, you know, it's fall time, so the fish should be active, they should be moving. I'm fishing the incoming tide. Um, I think it's like seven o'clock in the morning, so hopefully something happens. <laughs> So I pulled an autumn from the spot I was at. Came to this little back creek area. The spot I was at wasn't producing. It's was getting hit with a lot of crabs um, and stuff like that. So I was losing a lot of bait. It's a lot of boat traffic over there with kayakers and stuff like that. So I decided to move over here. A little bit more secluded, a little bit more quiet. Um, we'll see what's gonna happen over here. I actually changed up the rig a little bit. I was fishing with a Carolina rig um, with a two ounce egg sinker. Right now I got that mud metal on free line connected to 15 pound braid, 15 pound monofilament, freelining them out there with an Alberto knot connecting the two. We're gonna get out here and see what we can catch um, and see if we can get this catching cook done. Hell, it might not be a catching cook if we can't catch nothing. All right, I've been in the spot for a little bit. Pretty sure I got some. Flip my bell, check if I can see. Yeah, I got something on here. Jack Cavall. It's a little baby Jack Cavell out of here. He throwing back. Alright, that won't do for the catch and cook. I don't like how Jack tastes. Some people do, I don't. Um but we're gonna try and see if we can get something out of here. This spot's producing more than the other spot did, so that's already a good thing. I'm gonna put a new hook on there and get back out there. Jack came over here. After me just being over here for a few minutes, got the mud minnow out there in this little back creek area. Came through, seen the line, started shooting off. Gave him a little bit too long, I guess. And yeah, swallowed the hook. I'm hoping to get something a little bit better than that uh, to put in the frying pan, but at least it's a fish. As you can see, I switched spots. Came out here to the intercoastal here in New Smyrna. Um, been getting hit since I've been out here. Probably pinfish and mangroves. Let's we'll see if we can get one that's 10 inches of mangrove. Uh, that's a state minimum here in Florida. Um, let's get to it though. Now I'm just taking these shrimps to dead now. Throwing the head off, threading them on the hook. So by the time it's said and done, it looks like that. A bite sized nugget. Got this little fish. I think it's a snapper. It's a mutton snapper, I think. It's a baby mutton snapper. Comment in. The, put the name in the comments if you know what this is. Pretty sure it's a mutton snapper, but it might be a lane snapper too. Kind of pink and orange. 
gonna let him go. All right, got another fish. I think it's a sea bass. Way too small to keep, that's for sure, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure it's a sea bass. He's way too small to keep. Gonna let him go. Let's get it. I'm starting to catch some fish at this spot. Got another one, some type of snapper. Still don't think it's a mutton, but it might be. Whatever it is, he's small, he's going back. But to catch these fish, again, I'm just cutting the head off these shrimps, pinching the head off, and I'm not throwing really that far. That's probably why I'm catching a lot of little ones, but it's a lot of current out there, so I'm not throwing that far. Another one of those sea bass, still too small. Let's go, that is a 10 inch mangrove snapper. He is most definitely getting caught and cooked. 10 inch, beautiful dark mango snapper out here in New Smyrna Beach. Fat, shitting all over me. We're gonna be frying that one up. So out of that mangrove, I got a couple of fillets off of them. Got my grill already set out. Go ahead and turn it on. Turn it down, I'm keep my eyebrows. Got the grill on. Lay that there. We're gonna fry these up. We're gonna put a little oil in here. Some canola oil. Use whatever oil you fucking want to. I don't, it don't matter. Today I'm using this New Orleans style fish fry. Take this, one of these freezer bags, pop them open. Put some in here. It's enough. Legs, drop them in now. So you got L. Shake the shit out of it. Let them chill in there while your oil gets hot. When the oil gets hot, I'll come back to y'all. All right, now we got that oil hot, we can go ahead and drop them fish. Yes, sir. So, I'm gonna let them ride until they start to float. This won't be long. Fish don't take that long to cook. Yeah, why well, them cook, man? It was all in all, it was a it's a hot day, rough day a little bit. Went to a spot that didn't produce. Ended up making an audible and coming out here to this intercoastal area, and this spot did ended up producing um, better than the last spot did. So all in all, you know, it's fishing, so it's always a good day. I'm never gonna be mad when I'm on the creek, man. Don't judge my thongs, man. Thongs. Don't judge my tones, man. Old lady got these fucked. Right? Show y'all what I'm working with, man. Got two regular potato buns. Got some tartar sauce on them. You put whatever you want on yours, just so it's on mine. When these fish is done, you drop it with some of that. That right there is fire. Now that Frank's red hot shit, get you some of this. Chalua. All right, fish been cooking for a little bit, they about done. Take off that heat. Shake them loose. 
drop them on that bottom bun. Take a move. Put as much fish on here as you want to, man. It's a fish tank. That's what we making right here. Bit of that gold right there. A lot of it actually. Now I'm eat. Again, man, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me for the day. Uh, come back. We're gonna be doing it bigger and better every day, actually, man. This is just the beginning of my channel. Just the beginning of it all. I don't just fish, I hunt, hike, I do it with my old lady. You're gonna see a lot of her on the channel for sure. Um, y'all stick around, man.